Hey guys, Furum here, and today I'm going to be telling you about everything new in the new Heatwave Season update to Asphalt 9. It will probably come out in a week or so after the time of posting, but before then I'm going to be uploading my updated best and worst cars in each class list video, which will not be including the cars in this update. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already, and let's get right to our first car. I do not believe the Aston Martin V12 Speedster will be particularly great. At stock, its stats are very similar to those of a stock Pin and Farina H2 Speed, but with a lot worse handling. Also, it is a 4-star car instead of a 5-star one, which means it can't be upgraded as much. Of course, we'll have to wait for the max stats to know for sure. This car will be obtainable in a car hunt. Our next new car is the B-Class McLaren Elva. At stock, its stats look very similar to those of the Zenvo TSRS, but with a bit better nitro. This car will likely be pretty good, not king of its class or anything, but probably pretty competitive in multiplayer. And especially if it has a perfect nitro speed boost like the Zenvo. The Elva will be the Legend Pass car this season. Next up, in A-Class is the Pagani Zonda HP Barchetta. Its speed is on the slower side of its class, with stats similar to those of the 911 GT2 RS Club Sport. Again, this is looking like a car that is unlikely to be king, but will be very good in its class, and especially for multiplayer. You'll be able to pick up the Zonda in its Grand Prix. Moving on to the first of two A-Class cars, we have the Bugatti Veyron. At stock, its stats are almost identical to those of the Rimac C2, but with worse acceleration. I would say depending on how good its drifting is it could be either a very good car or a not so great one. You can get this car in a special event that does not require the Legend Pass. Our second new S-Class car of the update is the Hennessy Venom F5, the new fastest car in the game. At stock, it is 10 miles per hour faster than the Yesco, has better acceleration, almost identical handling, but a bit worse nitro. It's likely that this will be the new king of the game, but unfortunately it will only be obtainable via a special event that requires the Legend Pass. We also have two other new cars which I don't know the stats for yet, but I do know how you'll be able to obtain them. The first is an Aventador SVJ Roadster, which will be obtainable in an Unleashed event, and we have a Lamborghini SC20, which will be a Grand Prix car. If I had to guess these cars' classes, I would probably say high A or low S. We are also getting our first new track of the year, Auckland, which will be set on a circuit inspired by real-world racing. This is going to be a more speed-oriented track, and it is set in the nighttime. Something that caught my eye is that 12-player bracket over on the left? Might we be getting 12 players in races like we've seen in Asphalt 8? I guess we'll have to find out. As always, there is a new career season for this update as well. In addition to all these new cars, we will have an epic pre-event with the 911 GT3 RS, as well as two key car hunts for the Acura NSX GT3 Evo and the 4 GT Mark II. And to celebrate Asphalt 9's third anniversary, there will be a burst of speed event. Also, new customization kits have been added for the Aventador SV. Some other additions and changes include include improvements to gamepad navigation, that really annoying long rough section on Nevada has been fixed and will no longer cause cars to be slowed down, and new variants of New York and Nevada tracks have been added to the club race selection. Also, the reason it's called the heatwave season is because all of the new cars are cabriolet cars, which is perfect for summer. As always, you will find the full patch notes linked in the description, and be sure to let me know what you're most excited for. Please give the video a thumbs up if you have enjoyed, and consider subscribing for more Asphalt and other games content, and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye!